Welcome into PFF HQ. Austin Gill here with senior analyst Mike Renner going to Seattle to talk some new pass catching weapons. They bring in DK Metcalf in the second round, kind of falls to him, obviously making an investment there with Doug Baldwin at the time, mulling retirement due to injuries and then later retiring. What do you expect from DK Metcalf in Seattle in year one? Everyone kind of wants to pencil DK Metcalf to take Doug Baldwin snaps, but I might honestly think that DK Metcalf right out the gate actually takes David Moore's snaps. Moore was the guy who was playing exclusively on the outside, kind of their wide receiver three, uh, but you know the way they move receivers in and out, it's not necessarily that uh, set in stone. That's not kind of what you're listed in uh, when you're drawing up plays as an offensive coordinator. So I can see DK Metcalf filling that role where he's not necessarily an every down guy, but when he is out there, he's on the outside and he's feeling that deep threat, you know, complimentary role. He's not going to be your number one type of guy right out the gate. A guy that I think will fill Doug Baldwin's shoes is Tyler Lockett, Kansas State product, one of the better route runners coming out of college, a guy that's, you know, blown up from an efficiency standpoint in recent years but never had the targets. Is this the year he finally gets an increased target share and maybe does, some, does well in terms from an overall production standpoint? I think so. Russell Wilson loves targeting Baldwin out of the slot. Over two-thirds of Baldwin's snaps last year came from the slot. I think we could see Lockett have a similar sort of move. He was almost 50-50 slot versus outside last year Lockett. I think we can see more of him full-time slot getting a higher target share. He's one of the best route runners in the NFL. Had an exceptional yards per route last year, but I'm not sure you want him completely replacing Lockett. Was still top 10 in terms of deep receiving yardage. You want that deep threat from him. From the slot, you just don't have near as many of the, of the deep targets you will mm -hmm. as an outside receiver. So I'm not sure Lockett's role really necessarily changes that much. I could foresee Gary Jennings, their fourth round pick, sort of filling in that Baldwin role because he played all but 20 of his snaps last year at West Virginia from the slot. He could be taking Doug Baldwin's more slot-only type of role. Before we dive into Jennings, writing an article for the site on Tyler Lockett, you look at his ability to stretch the field and, and stretch the field deep. He won't get those opportunities in the slot, like you said. Mm -hmm. Average depth of target you know, league-wide for slot receivers is significantly lower than average depth of target when you're lining up outside, and that's just natural how it goes. I like that you bring up Jennings as that slot potential because bringing in Jennings to alleviate some of those slot snaps from Tyler Lockett so he can play more outside Side, get more one-on-ones outside not facing soft shell zones. I'm excited for that. But talk to me more about Gary Jennings, him stepping into the slot. Just a fourth round pick, but maybe some upside. Yeah, Jennings not ex not quite the route runner that Baldwin was. Baldwin, one of the best attributes was his ability to shake defenders in the red zone, beat man coverage, and get open. That's why he consistently put up touchdown numbers despite not looking like your typical red zone threat. Jennings doesn't necessarily have that, but he has a great feel for zone coverage, how to where to fit in, where to get open in those coverages and then fights for balls across the middle of the field. That's so important in the NFL is being able to take on a safety, take that hit and hang on to the ball. Converted 12 of 17 contested opportunities last season. That will fit in nicely in this Seattle offense. Jennings, Metcalf, two rookies stepping into pretty significant roles in Seattle, and you have to hope or expect Tyler Lockett also seeing an increase in targets with Doug Baldwin leaving. It's going to be exciting in Seattle, even if it is a run-heavy offense. They'll mm -hmm. throw the ball sometimes. For more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to Pro Football Focus's YouTube channel or go ahead and go to the site at profootballfocus.com.